Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel, and this video is gonna be about nothing and everything, but still nothing. Pretty much, I'm wrapping up my year right now. Uh, December started, we have a few weeks left. Um, I know there's still a few weeks left, but for me, I'm just wrapping, <clears throat> I'm just wrapping up stuff. And that pretty much means that this video, um, I'm just gonna muse about a couple of things. Um, last week I mentioned Regulated City, game I'm working on was part of the Indie Expo Live event. I got some wishlist numbers for you on that one. Um, also some feedback on the demo and some other stuff. So just quickly do an intro. And, oh, by the way, but hang on. This is my little uh, note list, but look at this. this this silly weird gadget and uh, yeah my wife is an expert at buying stupid silly stuff but i love her for this one because i it's the it's the perfect color but it's actually a pretty handy thing so uh yeah just wanted to share that you see this video is going to be about everything and nothing after the intro All right, so um, where, why are you pointing so far down? Sorry, uh, zooming out. The Indie Life Expo was last week. It was a online event, I think from Asia somewhere. Um, it was also on Steam and games could participate in it. And I got Regulated City to participate in it. So um, I didn't really expect much from it, but on the Steam page, there would also be a new whole event around it. And the Regulated City page would have Indie Life Expo above it. And people would be able to download the demo, which I uploaded there, a fresh new demo, the best demo I had at that point. Um, I was hoping for maybe 50 extra wish lists, which is very low, but I just had no idea what to expect from this. Um, turned out I gained about 300 wish lists over one or two days, the weekend. So, um, yeah, that pretty much a very good thing. Um, I will try to participate in more of these events, but slowly all these events are also moving back to live stuff and not so much online. So it's gonna be hard trying to find these other online events. I know there are more, but I'm very terrible at keeping track of them. I have no idea where I can find them. I want to participate and get regular city in those events. I just have to figure out uh, when are they happening and how do I participate and get my game in there something worth uh, checking out and putting some time in because these wish lists are important and this was actually a pretty good one so um, yeah interesting wish list uh, regular city still very low on the wish list at least i think it should be much higher it's at 1600 now which is very low but it is gaining it is growing there are more coming and there will be more events happening so we'll get there and i will be contacting streamers pretty soon as the demo and and the current version is more fleshed out and uh, I don't want to do that too early because they're most likely just going to stream it once. So I want to make sure that the game we have for them is really, <clears throat> really up there. And a good streamer might quickly add 500 to 1000 or even more wish list within a day or within a video. So uh, yeah, it, it will grow and uh, I have some plans ready for it. So um, yeah, Live Expo, cool event. And what else is on my to-do list? Um, Yes, I just, um, well, yesterday, last Thursday for you, I recorded a little TikTok um, devlog type thing. First thing I tried it, I've been watching, uh, I do, a, I, I, I watch a lot of TikTok. I'm guilty of that. I'm sorry, I actually enjoy TikToks and not the silly dances, but um, my most favorite, favorite, most of the videos I like and favorite are um, cats doing silly things and dogs doing weird things and stuff like that but i also follow some people who actually do vlogs and what they do is pretty simple they record bits and pieces throughout the day then they stitch that all together do a voiceover and that's that i figured i could do that as well i've been doing these youtube videos for a few years now and this is a lot more work having to set up everything and having that extra quality but on tiktok you can actually do it more rough and, and don't have to have all these lights set up. And, and let me just show you how it looks when I'm recording studio. We have one light set up. I have another light here. I have this on the tripod. I have another light for the background. I have this light on the ceiling. It's just... It's just a lot of work making good quality YouTube videos. And YouTube is a platform that needs it. 
TikTok doesn't need it. So I can just use my phone, record bits and pieces, cut them together, cut out some stuff, do a voiceover, upload it. I think this TikTok took me 20 minutes. It already has more views than the YouTube video that went live at the same time. So, uh, and I'm not talking a few extra, it has three times more views. And of course, TikTok, it's a shorter video, but it took me far less time. I'm reaching a bigger audience. It's worth investigating and doing that more often. So uh, make sure to find Orange Pixel Game on TikTok because there might be some more behind the scene type videos coming there. Also, this TikTok, the whole point of this, and I turn on back on, the whole point of this, it's a TikTok about Sir Questionnaire. I actually released a game December. I had to release something. Can't do a month without releasing something. Sir Questionnaire is now on Steam. The game has been live on mobile for a while and it has been on itch.io for a while as well. It just never landed on Steam. I uh, wasn't sure it was worth it, but yeah, that's just a stupid idea. It's worth it. Uh, having all your games on Steam and then being able to cross promote it and then being able to do discounts it just had to happen and the game was approved by Valve like two or three months ago. I just didn't get around to it and decided yesterday to uh, do some minor tweaks, update the Steam page a little bit and then just push the button, release it. Not expecting a lot from it, but it's out there and it's going to be um, usable to for cross promotion and discounts and sales and things like that. And it's at a bargain price and it's a pretty interesting game. It's my weirdest game, I think you really should try it out. Uh, Sir Questionnaire on the on, on Steam, I'll put it in the description below. That's that's another one. So uh, we're going through this list pretty quickly. On the list says demo feedback. Yeah, touchy subject. So for the demo version for Indie Live Expo, I released a fresh brand new demo available for everybody. Uh, and of course, that means people started giving me feedback. Now, the thing with feedback is you need to be in the right mindset to deal with it. So I usually just uh, release the demo or version or game or whatever, let people play it and give feedback. And then some days later, I will process whatever feedback there was. Now, the thing with feedback is everybody has an opinion and um, there were some good things especially um, multiple people told me that it was very hard to distinguish your own team from the enemy. So I've been working on tweaks on that. It's not done yet, but um, yeah, things like that are valuable information because if people are already mentioning that now in an early stage demo, then they will certainly be mentioning that later on when the game is released. And right now I can still fix it, hopefully. I've been looking at other games and pretty much in my game, the enemy is everywhere around you already there while a lot of these games have enemies spawning later and and not all at once but they will have two or three enemies coming at you and when you kill them only then the others will arrive so i'll have to figure out a way to do that because i think that will clean up the screen a lot and make it clearer on um, what your team is and what the enemy is. Already did a couple of other changes, so hopefully that will all uh, help out. Of course, there's also feedback that I have no use for. Sorry, I'm not gonna name names, but somebody also commented that he didn't like the, the woomp woomp sound effect. Not sure what the woomp woomp sound effect is, but that's also just a matter of taste. Uh, I use like high quality sound libraries that are used in Hollywood and other productions and movies and TV shows and games. So the sound effects are top quality. You might not like the sound, but yeah, sound is a risky thing. Some people don't like high pitches, others don't like low sounds and, and things in between. And it's never gonna be perfect for everybody. And if you don't like it, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, right now I still like the, the sounds that are in the game. Some can be done better or should be played less and that will be tweaked and changed. I can't just change everything because somebody randomly tells me it's not good. Another person said I should zoom out the game, like that's an easy option. It isn't. I have a certain resolution and I can't zoom out because there's nothing outside the visible There's nothing outside the visible screen. There, it's just not there. I can't zoom out. It's low resolution pixel art. Um, or I should also split up the game into a roguelike part and a story part and then have two separate sections. Like there is some line in my code somewhere that just says split and then I have two games. But yeah, it's one product and everything is built up from the ground as one. 
and I really like where the game currently is. I also had that as a remark. That, that's another thing. Yeah, I've been talking about my game the last couple of weeks, of course, um, and I've also been mentioning in the last couple of videos that I don't think the game is gonna make back all the investment I put into it, time-wise, money-wise, and all that stuff. And some people take that as me being negative about the game, that's not true. I'm, I'm extremely positive about the game where it currently is. It's very, 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 very extremely close to what I had in mind when I started this project. Pretty much there. Um, of course, there was a very a long time, I also talked about that on the channel, that I wasn't feeling the game. I was struggling with it. Um, creating the AI was extremely difficult and took a long time to get it right. And then figuring out what the gameplay should be and how it should all work. And, Eventually I got it on the rail, but eventually I got all that sorted in the last couple of months I've been loving the game where it's coming, where it's going, where it's heading, what, it, what it's gonna be. So um, the problem just is that I'm very realistic about things. Uh, for me this is a business, I'm not just a game developer doing it in my free time. Um, it's a business for me, I, I need to make money on my games or else we can't pay the bills around here and I need to find another job and I have no intention of doing that. I, I love this job. So for me, I have to be realistic about it. I know what games do in the current market. There have been some recent tweets and threats on that from other game developers working four or five years on a game and then only making like $4,000. Not saying that's a bad thing because a lot of games would love to make $4,000. A lot of games don't do that on Steam. They're, trust me, out of the like 6,000 games each year or more, most don't make more than a thousand dollars. It's not nice to hear, especially if you're working on a game and if you have aspirations to be a game developer, that's not nice to hear and, and you might just ignore the thing. He's talking BS. I'm not, sadly. It's a very tough market, very hard market. Um, so you need to be realistic about it. Make games in the shortest amount of time possible. And this game simply took longer than it should have. Um, it's still not done, so I'm going to need some type of funding, either Kickstarter or a game fund or a publisher. Although I'm not sure I want to work with a publisher because you're also handing a lot of control over to them. And if they F up, then your game does terrible and you have no control over it anymore. and You can't do sales and it's not really fully part of you anymore. There was, of course, one publisher I did want to work on with this game, but after our last cooperation on the last game i guess they weren't really feeling it and uh, even though the game is a lot better now guys if you're still watching the videos regulated city is awesome and you would have loved it i've seen a couple of other games you picked up this would be a perfect fit but anyway let's move on um yeah funding uh, so kickstarter or funding pretty much to um do the final stretch of game development. There's still a bunch of content that needs to be added, things to be tweaked, and I want to put in some months of marketing and contact streamers and really put time and effort into that part so that there's a more or a bigger chance to make a return on the game, or at least make back the money that's being invested. Uh, so for that, I just gonna have to find some way to, to fund it and preferably a game fund or a Kickstarter. Um, we'll have to figure that out in January, February, and I'll take you all on that whole trip and whole thing as much as possible because it's going to be interesting and it's all just part of business. Um, it, I know for some developers this is just a big dream, creating a game, releasing it, and that's it. But for me it's business, I just need to make sure I can make a living off it. And that's not being negative, it's just pure realism. Uh, that's probably my Dutch nature. Uh, we can dream big, but we're always very realistic about the chances and, and the pitfalls and things like that. So um, yeah, let's just end this weirdly random video here because there's a spider crawling on my ceiling and I'm gonna have to remove it in the most friendly way possible. Talking to you, I'll get to you in a minute. Um, there's two more videos coming this year and I decided to split up my end of year review, which I always do, into two parts. Uh, the first video is going to talk about the games released and on which platform and all that stuff. Uh, the second video is going to be about the numbers, um, how much was made and how much how is the split between PC, console, mobile. I'm also going to talk about the costs I have in a year. As, as a game development business, do you have costs? And if so, what are those costs? So um, gonna be two interesting videos. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, like this video, comment below if you have questions, drop on the Discord to hang out with me and a bunch of 
cool people on the Discord that are there almost every day. Uh, we have a lot of fun discussions and a lot of fun talks. It's about games, it's about pop culture, it's about everything. And that makes it a fun hangout place. So um, I see you there. And if not, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.